What's going on guys? And for the third time this year already, I am back at my favorite pond. But I have a reason why. My excuse is this pond heats up so much faster than all the other ponds. So the fish in this pond are gonna be a little bit more active than if I went to a different pond because I just drove past a pond the other day, yesterday actually, <laughs> and um, it's completely unfrozen, but like three days ago, it was still completely frozen. So that pond is still gonna be like high 30s, but this pond right here is probably 40 degrees, <coughs> probably 41. And this morning, I woke up early. I woke up at five o'clock to get here because I just love fishing open water. I'm, I just love it. I got so sick of ice fishing because in February it hit 70 degrees. So after that, I was like, yeah, I don't want to ice fish anymore. So it's been like almost two full months of where I could not fish. But luckily the ponds are starting to open up and things look promising. All right, I know this may sound crazy, but it was just ice out and my buddy's using top water. But this is the reason why. The water here is so shallow that like something on top of the water would definitely still be in the strike zone. We're only fishing probably like one and a half, two feet, sometimes even less than that. So like something on top of the water would totally be in the strike zone. And the fish would be that shallow this early because that's where all the dead weeds are. And dead weeds plus the sun give off a lot of heat. Not so much a lot of oxygen. So there might not be giant fish in the weeds. There might be smaller fish that can like survive in that low oxygen water. But either way, that's where the fish are gonna be and that's why top water should work today. But that being said, I'm still not throwing top water. <laughs> I'm, gonna be th <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be throwing a fluke, I think. All right guys, I'm starting off with a chatterbait. And I don't know how well that's gonna work in this really shallow water. I'm already switching up. I don't have any confidence in this lure right now. All right guys, I switched up to a paddle tail. This color is called like bluegill flash, I believe. It's just like a green with green and blue glitter in it. Cause it looks different. Does it? Got him. Yeah, was mine. Can you not swear, please? <laughs> there we go, guys. First fish of the day. He actually came up and inhaled my swim bait. <laughs> but it was actually my smallest fish this year. I guess I'll put it on my good camera. All right, guys. I know the sun's kind of behind me, so it's probably a little bit dark, but what a sweet looking fish. Tiny, but let's put it back. There he goes. All right, guys, first fish out of the way today. We've probably been here for close to an hour with no luck, but that was the first bite, so hopefully there's more where that came from. Yeah, mine did too. I mean, my loose. Yeah. Okay. Like that silver. Yeah. Yeah, with the teeth. Yeah, with the triangles or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. Circle like that with grooves like that. That was a nice bite guys, I saw him come and take it. Cause these pickerel do have teeth. Let me see if I can show you. Even the small one here has pretty sharp teeth that will cut you. But I'm lipping it so. <laughs> Ow! 
Yeah. Yo, can you add a bleep to your video? If you swore? Yeah, I can. Dude, that would be dope if you were just like, but I'm lipping it. Alright guys, that is fish number two. That's awesome. Let's get back to it. Dude, he's digging. Yep. All right, guys, third fish of the day. All right, guys, there we go. Third fish of the day. This little guy is strong, actually. But let's put it back. Way too shallow. I'm an idiot. <laughs> <Good night. laughs> yeah! On the waffle plopper! Ow. Wow. He just made me look like a <laughs> On camera, too. That's way too. Wow. <laughs> you saw it, too. Mm -hmm. Alright, guys, so I don't know if my video just did that justice, but I, I need to explain to you guys what just happened. So. There was ice on this pond a week ago. So this water temp is like 40 degrees. And I know at the beginning of the video I said top water would probably work because the water here is so shallow it's still in the strike zone. But I didn't even really kind of believe it. I knew, like I knew it could happen, but I didn't think it was gonna happen. And my buddy just cast it in literally six inches of water. And I go, no, that's not gonna catch anything. And the second I start saying something, a fish comes up and bites his whopper plopper, and I'm eating my words.